Afghanistan is a mountainous country of 34 million people, roughly the same size as Texas. For much of the last 25 years, the country has been plagued by natural and man-made disasters ranging from war and drought to earthquakes and terrorism. After more than two decades of conflict, oppression, and crop failures, people are beginning to return home and rebuild their lives in hopes of a lasting peace. But with few opportunities to develop good health care, quality education, and prosperity for its people, Afghanistan faces low life expectancy and literacy rates. Poor access to basic necessities such as safe water, sanitation, and electricity makes life there difficult. And for those living far from government schools, educational opportunities are limited. We're part of a, a larger consortium uh, where we work with three other international non-governmental organizations and in close coordination with uh, the Ministry of Education. What we do is to uh, provide uh, community-based uh, primary education in communities that are more than five kilometers away from the nearest uh, formal government school. And the idea being that you know, in Afghanistan, after 30 years of conflict, um, you know, education infrastructure has been largely destroyed, people have been displaced a number of times over that time period. So there are several generations of Afghans who have had limited or no access to education in their lifetimes. And so there's now this, this incredible hunger, this incredible commitment uh, amongst Afghans to get their boys and their girls educated so that their children have the opportunities that they never had so that their children are able to learn to read and to write to, um, you know, to contribute to kind of the rebuilding of, of the country. We work with the communities to first set up parent-teacher associations, school management committees, you know, a group of, of respected and committed um, elders or adults, you know, educated people from the village who are committed to these ideas of, of education and are willing to work with other parents um, and you know, local stakeholders to, to make it happen. <laughs> The idea is that over the course of several years, the schools will be will be mainstreamed, will be incorporated in the formal government system, and so you know everything we do is kind of with that in mind. You know, a series of trainings with the teachers and with the parent teacher associations to to strengthen their capacity to pass on the sort of the best pedagogical practices and and the government curriculum to make sure that the children then are ready to be incorporated into the formal schooling system uh, when that's ready. Through your participation in Operation Rice Bowl, you make it possible for CRS to support education projects in remote areas of Afghanistan. With improved access to education, communities there are building a more hopeful future. <laughs>